Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's Mike here, and I'm just going to show you the heal and clone tool in Lightroom. So this is the edited photo right here, and I'll show you the unedited photo. So you can see I want to remove these yellow arrows, and I want to remove this yellow sign in the background. So I'm going to do some other, other editing to make it look better. But this is what I'm going to just cover in this video. All I did in Lightroom, I used just the heel and the clone tool. And go back to Lightroom. This is the edited photo. So now what I'm going to do, I'll just bring the other photo in. I'll delete this. And I will bring in the other photo. Okay, so now I have the photo in here, the photo that I'm going to edit. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I just want to resize it for Instagram. It's four by five. And I want to, I mean, I, I just kind of go by what looks good. But yeah, you can go by the rule of thirds here. Um, but yeah, I'll probably just have the camera right in the middle. Um, that's sort of what I had. All right. So now I want to remove these lines. So I'm going to go to the healing brush so I can do either clone or I can do heal uh, in this case I could do either one but usually the heal tool is pretty good so uh, most of the time it's fine so now what I can do if I want is I can um, zoom in so if I really need to get the detail then I can zoom in oops I don't want to do that um, so zoomed in heal tool and now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over just hold down right cl or left click hold it down and now I can see how it it does a pretty good job of he just healing on its own now I can adjust that and then I'll zoom out and take a look so see how that's already better that's sort of what I was looking for there's a little bit left there um, you can with the heel tool, I don't want that. Um, with the heel tool, you can use the feather. And see, now it's a little bit, it fixes that little spot a little, uh, a little better. So normally, I would probably, I don't really like, I can still see that color there. Um, but normally, I would just try to fix it again. And what I can do, I'll just show you the clone tool. And what I'll do is just... Actually, it looks pretty good. All right, that looks fine now. I don't notice it as much. So yeah, so see how easily and how nicely that just cleans everything up. So I thought it looked better. I mean, this is just your own preference. Um, I think it looks better without those lines, the yellow arrows and without this sign. So that's just my preference. Um, so I'm gonna show you again. I use this tool a lot, the clone and heal. I use it a lot. This time I'll do the clone. See, so the reason it's gonna be easy for the clone tool is because I can just outline this arrow and it can just pick from anywhere right here because it's the pavement so it doesn't matter if it's you know like any area right here the pavement would make sense so um, that's a cl I'll show you another photo where I did the same exact thing uh, in a minute so same thing I'm just gonna go over this yellow arrow like that See how nice that looks? It's it's like perfect. I don't have to go to Photoshop or anything. That looks so good. So that was one version of heal and one of clone. So you, sometimes you just use one. I usually start with heal, uh, the heal tool, and then I'll know right away, uh, you know what if I want to use the heal or if I want to use the clone. Um, in this case, same. I want to get rid of the sign over here. Pretty much the same idea because I can either do a clone where it, it's going to clone the trees here or a heel where it's probably going to do the same exact thing. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to go back to the heel tool and then you can adjust the size too. If that's way too big for that, but yeah, you just adjust the size. So I'm just going to go like this all the way down to the snow and see just like that. It uh, matches it up to the tree. So now it's disappeared. It's gone. So how easy is that? Very simple. So there you go. So that's the photo. 
I think it looks a lot better. You don't have those lines and you wouldn't even know that they were there. So it, it uh, does a really good job. Um, before, so those signs in the back and then after. So that's the heel tool, and heel and clone tool. So now from there, I'm, I would just do my normal edits. And either I would either check for a preset. Uh, sometimes the presets, I think, look pretty good. The one that I used in the edited photo was a had a lot of blue. It was um, I forgot. Uh, I forgot what it, where I got that preset from, but it was um, just had a lot of blue in it. But the ones that I like, oh, right here. So uh, Opti edit. I can't remember where I got that from. Uh, but yeah, I just use these blue ones, faded blue. And I'll just look. If something looks good, then yeah, I'll, I'll use it. But I, of course, I like the, um, if you've seen my other videos, I like the inspired, or um, what is it called? Uh, I, that Icelandic guy. I like his presets. So that Icelandic guy. Um, but yeah, so I might do a preset. I might just edit on my own. Um, but in this case, I did add a little, I think I used the faded teal and then I adjusted from there for the final photo. Um, so that's what I do. And then let me just show you, uh, let's see if I can go to all photos recently added. All okay, so I don't have the original available at the moment, but this photo right here was a very bad composed shot. My friend took this photo and it was, it was the, I think it was on the 16, oh, it might have been the Tamron 2875. And the photo was taken from so far away. It just wasn't good. It was crooked. The composition was bad. And the other thing too, there was a windmill right here. There was this like big windmill and the uh, blade was almost to my arm. So all I did, and you don't even, I mean, you can see maybe a little bit. You can see where I did this heel tool. Um, you can see how it's, if you zoom in, it's a little bit off. But I think it looks way better without that windmill there. So I straightened the photo, edited the photo, and I just did that same exact technique where it might actually be on here. Healing brush. Yeah, see, you can see right here. So um, I used the healing brush, and I'll, all I did was I outlined um, the windmill here, and then I just moved it to a spot where I thought would look good for the heel or and the clone. So you just have to play around. Either a heel, heel tool, clone tool, and see what one looks better. If you have an exact map. Um, so let me show you another photo. Uh, let's see. Oh, this one right here. So this photo, I also did the clone. So you have to kind of decide if you want to do a heel or the clone. So if you have an exact match of something, like in this case, I um, I didn't like how the uh, one of these lights was red. So this was the, the cross sign was really red and then the light was red. So I didn't like that. So all I did was I highlighted the top one and cloned this one because it was an exact match so then i i uh, made it so that light isn't bright anymore so you can use the clone tool if you know an exact match in this case if it's a heel you know if you don't have an exact match of something like say there was a red line here i could use the heel tool and then it would pick from here it would look it would match but if you want something exactly and perfect matching something else then i use the clone tool uh so and let's see if there's anything else. Um, so say, uh, let's see, say like, there's nothing. All right, maybe this little, maybe this little thing in the back here. So maybe I don't like that. So I could go to the heel tool and I know the snow is white. So if this area is white, then it will be fine. It will match fine. So all I can, all I have to do is just kind of like trace over that. And now it's gone because it matches up with the snow. See, it picked the snow from here. And then if I want to, I can move this. You know, I can I can do whatever. I can move it around to what I want it to be. If I want it to look like the sky, then it'll look like the sky. But usually, uh, Lightroom does a pretty good job of choosing where the heels, um, the fix is going to go, the heel tool. So, and then from here, I'll just do a normal edit. Um, I already edited this one. I don't know what I edited with, but 
but uh yeah so then i would just edit it so back to this image um so yeah so it's a good way to just fix your photos the heal and clone tool um very useful comes in very handy as my phone's ringing oops um but very useful um very useful very handy works great so i use it all the time and if you have any questions about that leave a comment down below uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm actually going snowmobiling um, in Montana next week. So hopefully I'll have a, a lot of nice photos to edit and I'll have some video, some B-roll, some cinematic photos, some GoPro footage. So uh, I'm going to be posting that uh, the week after next week. Here's a nice edited photo I did. It's a little, very, a little bit, maybe too much edited, but pretty good. So yeah, make sure you subscribe and I will talk to you guys in the next video.